Welcome back one and all. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Icewind Dale 2. We're back to where we were. Uh, more or less anyways. We're in a little bit better shape this time, except for our archers, or our mage I guess I should say, who's in slightly worse shape. But that's okay, we have our crew ready for this battle against the goblins and the shaman. You guys all suck at aiming. Time to run away. Oh good, one of them's dead. Let's try and split the group up a little bit. Let's not keep those guys there though. Okay. Alright, we need to burn some of these guys. Oh good, they took out their own people. Oh shit, he's gonna die. I need you to go hit him, and you need a healing potion. Okay, you guys go fight that. You go kill that one. Excellent, we hit him. Come on. You know what? We're just gonna start lobbing magic missiles around again. You know what? Shoot the shaman. And you... Cast that. Awesome. So we just have the shaman left. Badly wounded. Excellent. Protection from arrows. That cannot stand. Ow. Um, we're all out of spells, unfortunately. I think. Pretty sure we're all out of spells. Except maybe from our cleric. Or definitely from our cleric. I didn't know if that would actually cause me any problems. Oh good, we killed him. Let's grab the loot. Now we just gotta get back our people under control. We're down one guy, he's kind of wandering around like a moron. He's technically afraid, but I'm just gonna call him stupid. What is he scared of? A tiny little goblet shaman that almost killed our entire party? Also, that shaman was a little bit high level for us. If you think about it, he cast at least two fireballs, three fireballs, I should say. So clearly he has access to level three spells, so it puts him at, at least level five, but he had three of them, so either he had very high intelligence or he was like level seven or eight. Which is just uncool. Can we rest yet? Nope. Well, we killed everyone, so maybe we can go turn in the quest. Yes. We should go tell them of our success. Good job, everybody. Great success. Uh, we are out of level. Damn it, I keep giving that to the wrong person. I think we're out of level 1 spells though, so we can't identify it. But we have a cool stave that we can probably yes. use for our wizard. What the hell? Why are you attacking me? 
What did I do? To the pain. Oh, I, need help. I don't even know what I did. Uh Okay, TBD. Okay, fight is over again. Hopefully we won't be attacked this time when we go through this doorway. I think I know what happened last time. I'm pretty sure I might have hit Olaf, tap water, fresh water, whatever his name is with all those fire bombs. And that's why he wasn't super happy with me. The goblins have been driven back for the time being. You've done well, and I have sent one of our runners to tell Lord Ulbrich of our victory and your part in it. If you haven't already, you should report to Lord Ulbrich at your earliest convenience. I'm sure he'll want to congratulate you personally. Actually, we came here for our payment. We're not here for our health, Shofford. We're here to earn some coin. Indeed, very well. I'm authorized to pay you a bonus sum for your efforts. There are times I forget you are mercenaries. Here you are. Good. And watch that tone of yours. We didn't travel here from Luskin and past Bremen in flames just to defend your town. We're risking our lives here, and the pavement should reflect it. Before you go, however, I feel I must say something. The mercenary's life is not one unknown to me. I have served many companies, and in many conflicts, throughout Neverwinter and the realms, and all the coin I earned was a shallow reward until the day I made my home in Targos, and its people were placed under my protection. There are greater goals to strive for in this world than wealth, and simply finding one's purpose in this world is worth more than any amount of gold one can earn from swordplay alone. That'd be wrong. You are totally incorrect. I heard of your fight at the Palisade, and my men say you fought like devils. You took down all three of the goblin leaders. I can't believe you risked so much for just gold. If those goblins had taken Targos in the docks, we'd be trapped here under the shadow of the Horde. We are fighting for Targos, but also for our lives. Very well, that will have to do. I wish you luck in your future here in the north. I believe that with you by our side, the Horde will be turned back and Targos saved. Perhaps. Farewell. I'm surprised we didn't gain any levels from that. Actually, maybe we will when we turn this in. We're like a hundred experience away from level three on at least five of our characters. One of them will not be leveling with the others, and that's just the reality of using an advanced care or advanced race like the Osmir. Their level dev er, deviation by one even increases it by a lot. All right, let's talk to Ulbrich. I have heard of your brave deeds in Targos' defense. You have served Targos with distinction and valor, and you have my gratitude. I fear we have been granted only a temporary reprieve, however. We still don't know what is driving this horde to attack Targos' walls. Oswald Fiddlebender, our aerial scout, has been scouting the region in his airship, and he has discovered some unsettling news about the Horde. And that would be? It seems the goblins that attacked Targos were only the advance raiding party of a much larger force. Their main force has taken Shangarn Bridge, which is ill news. Shangarn Bridge? Let me see your map. I will mark its location for you. Here is Targos, and Shangarn Bridge is just to the south. The Neverwinter troops plan to use this bridge to cross the river, but as long as the goblins hold it, the reinforcements from Neverwinter cannot cross the river to aid us. I need you to find some way to retake the bridge from the goblinoids. Without the reinforcements from Neverwinter, Targos will be overrun. Oswald has reported that the trail to Shangarn is choked with goblin troops. His suggestion, and I agree, is that a small party might be able to make its way up the frozen river to the bridge and take the enemy forces by surprise. I have a better suggestion. Why don't we load Oswald's airship with some potions of explosions and land it on the bridge? Hmm. Don't think that hadn't crossed my mind. But we need the bridge intact, and Oswald's airship is the only reliable reconnaissance we've gotten in the past month. We need it and the bridge intact. Very well then, farewell. No level still, even with that extra little bit, really? Like 3 experience, 40 experience, 43, 47, 46. I'm ready. Awesome. Like 1 or 2 kills, probably. Hmm. 
Alright, well let's go to the inn and rest, I guess. Ooh, that is some excellent for or sinking or uh, was it V-Sync problems. Alright, whatever. It'll be fine. Old games though. They don't always work the best, unfortunately, with newer systems. I'll do what I can. Let's take a brief nap, because we desperately need one. Oh. Hang on, let's read this. Do you know a priest of Miracle named Colum? He said he had a room here. Oh, why? I know that Twisted Hounds get I do. Had a room here for two nights he did. Then he said he couldn't bear the weeping of the spirit. So he up and left though so much as shelling got a single coin for the room. Kalum didn't pay for the room? Aye, well, with nothing that matters he didn't. He put some glyph on the door of the room upstairs to keep the spirit inside. But that didn't do much good, did it? What was the glyph supposed to do? Hells if I know. All it did was keep people from wandering in there. So that's all Colum did. Just put the glyph on the door? Aye, well, no. He gave me some damnable magic potion. Some concoction or another. But he wouldn't tell me what it was, only that it was more than enough for the room. Truth be told, I'm too scared to open it, let alone drink it. Why didn't you... Can I see the potion? Here you are. Can you make heads or tails of it? Not sure. It does seem magical, though. If you want, we could try to identify it for you. Huh. Well, alright. If you can't figure it out, perhaps one of the priests or mages in town would know what the damn thing is, or better yet, that wife of Lord Ulbrich, Ethiara, Elithara, sorry. She'll probably know what it is. She's an enchantress, here tell. Let's, uh, do that, but we need to rest first. Let's take a brief rest in our peasant room. Only people that don't need to redo the fights three times to get it right deserve merchant class. Truth be told, none of my parties will ever be good enough to sleep in a good room, because they're expensive. Three gold is just too much gold. They can sleep on cots. They're fine. They're adventurers. I'm so miserly with my poor people. Done. Is that door... Why would you reclose that door? That's just silly. Come here, Elithara. I have a potion here from Kal Hirid that he wishes to have identified. You wear the trappings of an enchantress. Do you have any magic we might purchase from you? You're going to make me pay for it to... I have identified... Stupid thing. I can do it myself. For one gold. For a peasant's room, I will identify it myself. That's a light crossbow plus one. That is shadowed leather armor, which is actually pretty nice. The Whispering Staff is a plus one staff with plus one to move silently and 1% chance to silence when struck. Cool. Ghost Touched Bottle. The Flask... Oh, I'm just going to talk to her. She'll tell us what it is. I was wondering if you could tell me what this Ghost Touched Bottle might be used for. Perhaps, let me take a closer look. Here you go. How curious, the potion is only water and, as you noted, the enchantment stems from the bottle itself. It's been touched by the spirits, ghost touched, as it's sometimes called. What do you mean? The bottle can hold the essence of the ethereal plane inside, the substance of ghosts and spirits. And what would such a bottle be used for? In truth, I have no idea. It would depend on the enchanter. The bottle would have much greater worth if it held some of the ethereal plane within it. Why? Enchantments carried by the ethereal realm can be quite potent. A ghost touched item might be made from even the smallest trace of a spirit's essence. Would the tears of a ghost serve? Why, yes it could, but uh, I see where your question leads. Are you thinking of the haunting of the Weeping Widow? I thought about it. Can you tell me anything about the spirit that haunts the inn? Little except what Kal Hirid, the innkeeper, has told me. The ghost of a woman is said to haunt the upper stories of the inn at night, waiting for her husband's return. I believe he is said to have sailed out into the lake many years ago and never returned. Consumed by grief, the woman hurled herself from the upper story of the inn and died upon the rocks below. A sad tale. Do you think it might be possible to obtain a tear from her? If you intend to coax a tear from the spirit, you'll have to find some means of settling her heart, or setting her heart to rest first. Otherwise, dealing with her may prove difficult. Thank you. And that's it. This better give us some sweet experience, though. Like, a hundred quest experience would be more than enough to level up five out of our six people. 
and that would make me really, really happy. I'll do what I can. Jumping right back into the inn, we have to go talk to the ghost. We have her under thrall, so all we need to do is make her give us a tear. If I must. We're just going to walk up to her and be here, like, here, jam this vial into your, here, your, your eye duct and uh, must. give us a tear. Oh, right, she's not here until the night time. Can we rest here? No. Alright, what time is it in the game? It is... Hour 16, so if we rest, we should be good. We identified that potion Colum gave you. It's a ghost touch bottle. A ghost touch bottle? But what of the potion inside? Only the bottle was enchanted. It's supposed to be able to hold pieces of the ethereal plane inside, but there was only water inside, not a potion. That damn priest. I knew it was worthless. Huh. Well, thank you for your efforts, but I'd rather such a thing be kept far away from me. I'd sooner keep anything touched by the spirits away from me, I would. Actually, we already went to a great deal of trouble to get it, ident get it identified. Some gold would make the trouble worthwhile. Ahem, well, you offered to take a look at it, didn't you? If I'd have known you wanted to be paid, that'd be a different matter. I don't want to argue with you. I just want to be paid for my trouble. All right, all right, hm. Here you are. And uh, if you can't find a place to spend it in town, you can always bring that gold back here and we've got a room for you. Well, we will see. Farewell. Actually, I do need a room. We need to rest for eight hours so that we can go visit a little spirit. It's now nighttime, or at least it should be. Yes. It's hour zero, so. Hi! With evil tread you come again. Have you further demands to bleed from me? A tear is all I require. Shed it within the bottle and then you may return to the sightless realms. You would draw upon my grief to force one last tear from me. The tears I shed are not for you. Just a single tear will do, spirit. Shed it into the vial and then be gone. It is done, accursed one. For now. Farewell. For now? We shall meet again in a kingdom far from this one. I shall not forget what you have done to me. Your threats carry no weight with me, spirit. Be gone, lest I raise you again to do my bidding. There. Ghost problem solved. What potion was it? Was it just like a... Oh, there's Vera's bottle. Cool. Let's level up. We have a couple people that require our leveling skills. It's not our... Dreadmaster, though, because unfortunately she is far from a level. Another 900 experience or so. Our fighter is ready to level up, though. And has her one skill, Intimidate. Excellent. And she's going to pick up... I should have chosen Bastard Swords. Oh, well. We have level 2 axes already. Do we have two weapon fighting? Yes, we do. Weapon finesse wouldn't help us very much. Strong back is not very good for us. Power attack might be worthwhile at later levels. Look at heroes we can't do because she is an elf, I believe. Half elf. Something like that. Hmm, dodge might be good too. Actually, dodge might be what we go for. Or dash. Let's get her to move faster. That's always useful. Our human is going to level up. Human fighter. And he gets a whole two skill points. Diplomacy. And that's it for that one. Oh, that's it, right. It's cross-class skill. And we can take... We have dash already. We have... What's discipline do? Will saves and concentration. Yeah. Can we get large swords yet? I think you have to be level something for that. Level six, maybe? I think it's level six. Four more levels. Still level four. Next level. We will get, be able to get that. We can take toughness. Get some serious hit points coming. I think they're plus three each. So 15 total hit points. Wouldn't be awful, I guess. But let's take dodge instead. Get him some extra armor. 17 armor now. 16 on her. 18 on her. 
Our ranger is now level 3. Hide, move silently. And what was the other one? Wilderness lore. And she has a feat as well. Let's take a look down here. Maybe not with oh, rapid shot or precise shot. Let's get rapid shot. Yes, I can shoot bows faster. Done. I'm sold on that one. Our sorcerer is leveling up. Concentration and spellcraft. Hmm, armored arcana is pretty cool. If we want to have an armored mage slash sorcerer. But we're not really into that right now. Let's take a look what we can get. Spell penetration is very useful. Um, spell focuses are usually pretty good as well. Mercantile background might be... Does he have high charisma? Actually, he has the most charisma. Okay. He's going to be our seller. Mercantile. And I need that one. Mercantile skill would be good. 5% discount on buying items and a 5% markup on selling items. We also get another level 1 spell of our choice. We can get Burning Hands, which would have been awesome for killing goblins, actually. Um, color Spray is also pretty useful. Mage Armor might be good. Shield is usually a very good spell. You know what? I think we're going to go shield. Yeah. Okay. Or, you know what? Low level crowd control color spray is very, very good. And of course our rogue, who has a million stat points to put, or uh, skill points to put out. Six, 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 six. Why can't you? Oh wait, hang on. I'm missing one there. Move silently. And we get a talent. Or a feat. Whatever you want to call it. Rapid shot might be good for him. Or... Rapid shot. Yes. Rapid shot it is. He'll hit slightly less, but he'll fire more. There. There. That is that. We are 100% done leveling up. And now our characters have some more hit points, minus our cleric who's only at 18 still. Very well. Uh, did we talk to him? Hang on, we should just make sure that he knows that the ghost is gone permanently now. I will do as you wish. And then we'll leave town. Nope, okay. You didn't care. Let's quickly run over to the shop. Uh, actually, you know what? We don't need to really to go to the shop right now. I didn't grab a whole bunch of the stuff. Mostly because it was all pretty much worthless. Like all these quarter staffs we have, which are actually worth zero. And I don't know why we're carting them around with us. We did get some magical items though, so the Whispering Staff is pretty good. I'll give it to him as his secondary item. Uh, Shadow Leather Armor is going to go to our Rogue, for obvious reasons. Same armor, weirdly. We'll sell that leather off, and Quarterstaff, I saw one. We have a bunch of arrows still. Probably enough for now, I would think. Yeah, we have lots. We even have lots of stones left. Alright. Cool. Guess we're pretty much ready to go then. Oh, what were the other magical items? We got a Hound's Tooth Collar, Immune to Panic and Fear, and we can cast Beast Claw once per day. Let's make you immune to fear. And what was the last thing? All right, the crossbow plus one. All right. I hear you. I guess that's it then. We are level three. We're heading out of town. I think we've done all of the side quests in town, so we're pretty ready to go. Oh, we can sell the tier to Ilithara. Let's go do that really quickly. I just read it at the journal. I 
and then we'll head out of town. So it's our first zone transition out of this little place. We've obtained a tear from the ghost that haunts the Weeping Widow, and we're wondering if you would, could make use of it. So you were able to set the spirit to rest then. This is welcome news indeed. It would be my pleasure to help you. May I see the tear you have brought? Here you are. What can be made of it? Indeed, it depends on what you wish to do with it. If you want to part with it, I can offer you 500 gold. Or if you wish, I may use it to enchant a small blade for you. A dagger, perhaps. The dagger would carry some of the magic's ethereal plane, or some magic of the ethereal plane, and some of the essence of the spirit as well. There's some unpredictability in such matters, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a dagger would be absolutely worthless for us. So let's just take the 500 bucks. And let's see if we can purchase anything. She has spells. We have sorcerers, so that won't really help us out too much. Um, she has a magical dagger and a... What is it? A small dagger of goblin slaying, which is actually pretty good. Girdle of beautification. Oh, be oh, beautification, sorry. It's permanent bless, which is actually kind of awesome. Um, but nothing we really want that I can see. Except maybe the bracers of defense, but we are not that rich yet. In fact, a lot of the things here we cannot afford. Yes, maybe when we come back from our other little journey, she'll be a little more reasonably priced for us. Mostly we want things that increase our armor. I'll do what I can. On the bright side, with a sorcerer, we never have to buy spells. Although, uh, then we also don't get experience for learning spells, so... Sort of a toss-up. Slowest loading ever. Don't know why this particular area takes forever to I'll load. All the bodies are dead, they cleaned them all up. Those jerks I was gonna... No, I wasn't gonna loot it. Okay, so... It is time to leave town. And there's some serious music playing. Oh right, our fighters are a little bit faster than the, re the rest of the group because of Dash. I was like, why are they so much quicker? But that makes a lot of sense. Alright, so Targos, obviously, and then the Shane Garn Ford is here. And we're going to go there right now. This bridge doesn't look all that effective, actually, if you look at it. I remember when Isalor took me to see the boars at Shangarn River 20 years after the war had ended. There was no sign of the Malarites then, nor of the decimated forest, the field of stumps on muddy veins that stretched for miles. It was a graveyard for the placidity that the loggers in the area had known. Rather than keep the scarred land as a memento of the horrible times, the villagers earnestly put it back in its proper shape. I am glad I never saw what it had become during those dark days. Uncle Oswald saw it from the sky, and the mercenaries from Targos, they saw it from the frozen river itself. Glutted with lumber and ice from Lonelywood, the Shane Garn was choked to a halt. The damage wasn't apparent from the tundra, nor were the savage beasts lurking under the heavy boughs of the standing firs. I see. Why are you here, Lord? You won't take river from Torak? Ha! Shangan belong to Broken Tusk Clan now. You leave here, or you die. Hmm. And who might you be? Me, Torak Skull Splitter, Chieftain Broken Tusk Clan. 
You do well to fear me. But I don't fear you. I think not. I'm here to eliminate you. Leave while you still may. Never! Or slay you and send you head back to Targos. Broken Tusk Clan. Slay this dog. So be it. Where are they? Oh. Hi, guys. Ooh, that's a lot of archers. I'm very sure about this. Color spray sort of in... that direction. There we go. Oh, there's a guy blocking the path. Okay, you guys get in there. Really, you can't get past yet? Okay, now can you get in there? There, perfect. Take that stupid shaman down. More orcs are coming in. We're level 3 now. That means our magic missiles are actually going to be pretty decent. Uh, time for you to pull back. Oh. She died. That's annoying. We'll quickly reload that. We should have quick save. Uh, we didn't have a chance to quick save. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's just fine. It's only because she has less hit points by quite a lot. Okay. Everyone advances. Shoot those guys, except for you. There we go. Where the hell did that thing come from? Break down that. Break down that too. Yes. At your service. Start taking out some archers, please. Wolf's dead. Stupid kegs, get out of the way. Kill to grow that stupid one. Oh, he's alive again. There we go. No, he's not. Alright. Now there's only the shaman left. Don't go running in. Oh, wait, these guys are unconscious. Never mind, go running in. These guys are worth significantly more experience than the goblins we killed. Alright, guys. Hi. Welcome to the jungle. I am ready. It shall be done. That was stupidly out of range of me. Come on. Only one of them went down? Ugh. Okay, archers, shoot that dude. That was actually a really good flanking maneuver on my part. Alright, here we go. Lost orc, take him down. Perfect, stop. Oh yeah, he's unconscious. Take him down as well. Perfect, everything worked out good. Everybody's dead. I stand ready. I... Let's go loot some bodies.
pretty decent money on them too. Between 17 and 25 gold so far. 19 there, look at that. Also, we're pretty much at the end of our video, I think. I think we're quite a bit over time, actually, but that's okay. We'll make these ones a little bit longer. I don't mind. It's all good. And that will be that. We have taken our first steps into Orkland. We're going to reclaim this bridge for the town. We're going to steal all the arrows in the world. But that will be in the next video. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.